Hello and welcome to the Bettendorf Public Library's Take Home Workshop. Today's Take Home Workshop is Cray Paper Flowers and I am going to show you how to do three different types of flowers out of cray paper and some other um, simple supplies. First is a spider mum. Um, this one you can tell has some long thin petals. Second one is a rose-like flower. And the third one is um, a carnation. So in your kit, you will find some uh, streamers, cray paper streamers, a fancy scissors, some glue dots, a floral wire, and some tape. To begin the rose flower, I'm going to take my glue dots and place them on the floral stem wire. Then I'm gonna start with my cray paper streamer and I'm going to show you how to fold that so that it becomes a rose-like flower. For the rose flower, I like to fold it around so it uh, kind of becomes a circle for the center of the rose. And then I will do some simple accordion folding to make the outer petal. to be sure that as you're working with the cray paper streamer um, it doesn't go too far down on the floral wire um, you just have to be careful that you keep putting it up um, so that it doesn't go too far down the shaft of the floral wire So while you're working on any of the flowers, you want to hold uh, the flower base tight with your hand so that it stays around the floral stem wire. you've uh, fully folded that and wrapped it around your floral stem, it's time to get out your tape to tape it to the floral stem base to secure it. And there is your first floral stem flower. For the spider mum type flower, uh, what you'll want to do is to make this um, cray paper streamer into approximately three inch accordion fold.
So it will look like this. Now you're going to take a scissors. You can either use a regular scissors or you can use your fancy scissors here. I found it easier for this particular flower to do the regular scissors. So that's what I'm gonna show you. Uh, one thing you want to be careful of is cut um, about three quarters of the way down so that you still have an uncut portion at the bottom of your cray paper um, streamer. Once you have that done, we're going to get out our floral stem and our glue dots. As we did for the rose type flower, I put the glue dots right on the floral stem wire. And now I'm gonna accordion fold the cray paper streamer onto the floral stem wire. Once I've done that, I'm going to secure the bottom of the flower to the floral stem with tape. If you find that you would like your spider mum petals to be a little bit thinner um, or finer, you can go ahead and take your scissors and do a little trimming now. And there you have your spider mum like flower. For our last flower that I'm going to demonstrate today, um, this is going to be a flower that looks like a carnation. So first what you'll do is you'll take that streamer and you're going to um, fold it accordion style into about a uh, three inch or so uh, fold. Just like that. And now is where we get to use our fun, fancy scissors. So you'll want to cut the top of your cray paper uh, streamer with our fun, fancy scissors. Um, and just make sure that you only do uh, one edge. So in this case, I'm gonna do this edge right, this edge right here that I'm pointing to. So now you'll see that um, fancy edge right there. Next, you'll use your floral wire and your glue dots and you'll make tiny accordion folds with um, the cray paper streamer. So 
you'll see that um, once you're done accordion folding the flower, um, you can see it looks like a carnation. And if you see any edges that you want to retrim with your fancy scissors, you can certainly do that now. Using that fancy scissors is what gives this flower its carnation-like appearance. So I've just uh, secured my flower to my floral stem with the tape. And here you have your carnation type flower, your spider bum type flower, and your rose type flower. Hope you enjoyed today's take home workshop.